Relative maximum and minimum values. A relative maximum occurs where a graph switches from increasing to decreasing. So if you can imagine what it means to be increasing, that means our graph is going up, and then whenever it switches and starts decreasing, we call that point where it switches a relative max. And relative is a term we use uh, as opposed to an absolute. An absolute maximum of a graph would be uh, literally the highest place on the graph. But here, depending on if our graph goes back up, this may not be the, the absolute maximum, but it is a relative maximum. A relative minimum occurs where a graph switches from decreasing to increasing. So if we continue on, we're decreasing and then we switch, this is a minimum, a relative minimum. And if that happened to be the absolute lowest point on our graph, it'd be an absolute minimum. Just because if you see these words, it might confuse you. If you see maxima and minima, that's the plural for maximum and minimum. And then the term extrema refers to all of your extreme points, so both maxima and minima. Now this is important because when you're talking about increasing and decreasing, you may need to find the relative max and relative min in order to be able to figure out this interval in between where, where it's decreasing in this case, in this picture I drew. So for our example, we're going to use a graphing calculator to determine any relative maxima and minima of the function, which we have written here. And we're, then we're going to use that to determine the intervals on which the function is increasing or decreasing. So you're going to take your graphing calculator and go to y equals, clear out anything that's already there, and type in this function. Once you have it typed in, you press enter. And I like to press uh, zoom 6 so that I, whatever window I had before on my graph doesn't matter. It gives me a standard window. Um, and so when I do that, I get something that looks like a cubic function, which it should because this is a cubic function. And you can see that it looks like this kind of a situation. So we clearly have a relative maximum and a relative minimum. We're going to use our calculator to find that. The place to do that is the calculate menu, which you get to by pressing the second button and the trace button. Go down to maximum and press enter. It asks us to do three things. First, it wants a left bound. So that means we need to go to the left of our maximum. Press enter. Now it wants a right bound, so now we have to go to the right of our maximum. The third thing it asks us to do is to guess, so you can move that point back to where it's close to the top of your curve and press enter again, and then it will calculate and tell you what the maximum is. In general, because you're going to get decimals for these, it's good to do at least three decimal places, unless your professor has a different preference. I get 0 0.214 comma 3.704. That's our maximum. And now I'm going to find the minimum. So we do second trace again to get to our calculate menu. This time we use option 3. And now we want to go to the left of our minimum and you want to get kind of close to where the minimum is. You don't have to be right next to it. And then your right bound, go to the right of your minimum. And on your calculator, you should there should be little markers that show you after you've selected that, you, that you want your minimum there to be in between those markers. On guess, I move back down to where the minimum is and press enter. It takes some time to think, and then it tells me my minimum is 3.120 if I round to the third decimal place. 
and then the y value is negative 2.430. That's my minimum. And now we can easily, because we've found those two points, figure out what our intervals are for increasing or decreasing. We're increasing from negative infinity until we get to our maximum. So from negative infinity until we get to 0.214. And then we're increasing again from our minimum to positive infinity. So that u is just saying that both of these sets are increasing. So from 3.120 to positive infinity. We are decreasing in between our max and our min here. And so we are decreasing from 0.214 until we get to 3.120.